Hi, it's Level1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. Today, just a simple video showing you, well, chronicling the first steps of my voyage of discovery, the trip out that hopefully will get me from Pioneer to Elite in exploration. Um, I don't do much exploration in Elite Dangerous. I don't even know how I got as far as Pioneer without really doing a lot. But I'm going somewhere different. I decided not to go to the core because I've been there, done that, brought the t-shirt. So I had a look around on the galaxy map and I picked a destination and I decided to head out. It took me a little bit longer than I wanted to set off on this journey because I had to do some power play stuff beforehand. Um, you know, I'm in week three of the power play so you know I had to get my merits up uh, before setting off. But I have decided to go to these nebula, the heart and soul nebula, um, out towards the rim. And I just thought it was a funky place to go visit and apparently there's more chance of those spatial anomalies and alien stuff uh, in and around nebulas so it seemed like a good pick two nebulas for the price of one they're quite close to each other and um, it's somewhere i haven't been before and somewhere i thought looked quite cool so i decided that would be my destination for this journey um, so hopefully i can bring you some fun footage of interesting things I discover on the way. Um, I gotta say the new discovery scanner is a bit of a faff. Um, I'm not 100% sure I like it. Um, I'm not 100% sure I don't like it. I think it's gonna be a case of getting used to it. Um, all the different modes, all the different things you gotta do. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get used to. I mean you can just honk and go, honk and go apparently and you get the same money as you used to. Um, but we'll have to see. So uh, I'm out and about doing a bit of exploration, which is unusual for me, uh, and see if we can get some entries in the codex. Uh, the codex is kind of, I do like the codex. I like the fact they've broken uh, the Milky Way up into segments, and I like the fact that you can click on those segments and look for interesting stuff. So hopefully we can find some alien gas cloud type creatures or something fun and funky to interact with. You never know. So, um, yeah, that should be quite good. So I'm heading off out into the black in my Diamondback Explorer, which I've got to say, I didn't lightweight it, um, didn't get around to that. So it's only got like three engineered modules on it, but it's doing okay. Uh, it's got a nice enough jump range, about 60 light years. So uh, we're just plodding along. Uh, a lot shorter jump range than Pirate Orcs Anaconda, but then I was never in a rush on this journey. Um, it's more about taking in the sights. So I'm going out. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you some interesting footage of my discoveries um, and stuff that I see on the way. I've got to say this fuel scoop will probably get on my nerves very, very quickly. It's not the fastest fuel scoop in the world. It's the one thing uh, the Diamondback Explorer lacks for me. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you know anything that's out this way, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks.